There is an issue with the DJI 04 system. It affects both the 04 Pro and the 04 Lite, and it is specifically related to using either of those ear units with these, the DJI Goggles 2 and the DJI Goggles Integra. This issue is directly related to these goggles whilst using the ham file. If you don't know what the ham file is, it is this file here called ham underscore CFG underscore support. This file for a CE user gives them the FCC level of RF output and the additional manual channels as well. The option to not only select manual channels, but also the additional three channels rather than one in 40 megahertz mode or seven channels rather than three in 10 and 20 megahertz mode. And the issue is that you are limited to either 16 or 31 megabits a second. Now, this issue does not affect the DJI Goggles 3 or the Goggles N3, and it is only the Goggles 2 and Integra that do have this problem. And what I'm going to do today is explain to you exactly what the issue is, show you its functionality, and hopefully give you a few workarounds. But I do need to be clear. There is no proper fix for this issue. I actually don't think DJI will ever fix this issue because the ham file was not an official supported feature. It is a workaround, a hack as such, to get FCC performance in CE areas. And the reality is, this is in all likelihood always going to be the case on these goggles. And if you want to get the best from the O4 system, unfortunately, you're going to have to pony up and get yourself a set of goggles three. The way DJI 03 and 04 works is that it is fully dynamic. When you are in auto mode, it should give you the maximum bit rate available, and then it should automatically reduce that bit rate as your signal drops down. However, people are finding with the goggles too, and as I've said already, when in combination with the ham file, they are not getting that maximum bit rate to start with. When using DJI 03 and 04 with the goggles 2 or Integra, you should get up to 50 megabits a second maximum. And when using 04 with the goggles 3, you get an extra 10 megabits up to 60. However, people aren't actually getting near that. They are seeing 30, 31, or as even as low as 15 megabits a second. To demonstrate this for you, here we are in low power mode, and you can see that we have just one megabit a second because we are disarmed. However, if I now arm the aircraft, you will see that rather than it jumping up to that 50 megabits a second like it should, it is only going to 1450 megabits a second. This is because the ham file is actually causing a quirk in the goggles that prevents it going to the maximum bit rate. Now, as I said at the start, there isn't actually a fix for this in the sense of you can permanently fix this and still use the ham file. But there are a few things that you can do to improve the situation. First of all, if you want to make it go away completely and start again without the ham file, you can. You will need, though, to completely reset your DJI goggles and your ear unit. To do this, you need to go into the goggles menu, down to settings, down to about, and then scroll all the way down to reset all. By performing the reset all, this will completely erase any of the changes that the ham file has made, and then you should be able to get the system back into its normal operating mode. Just note, before performing the reset all, make sure that you do remove the SD card from your goggles, or at least format it from your goggles and make sure the ham file is not on it. If the ham file is still on it, when you reboot the goggles, it will take the ham file again and give you the same issue. Just to demonstrate this, I have just reset my goggles. The SD card has been formatted and I'm recording without the ham file on board. As I've said, it's important that you don't have it on there when you reboot. We're currently in standby, so if I now arm the aircraft, you will see that it will jump up all the way to the full 50 megabits a second. That is because the ham file is now not interfering with the RF behavior. But unfortunately, though, we are going to be limited to that CE power.
Now, obviously, by removing the ham file, you are no longer going to have the additional RF power that you get in FCC mode or the extra channels available, but it does give you back the proper working functionality. However, if you do want to get the benefits of the ham file and still get the system to work somewhat properly, there are a couple of things that you can do. Here we are now back in ham file mode, disarmed. You can actually tell this from the bit rate. When you're not using the ham file, the lowest bit rate will actually hover around two to three megabits a second. However, now you can see it's pegged at one megabit a second. If I arm, you will see that it only goes up to 1516. So again, we're having the issues. Now, the first thing you can do is use the manual channel mode. The manual channel mode will override the auto setting and stop this issue happening. However, that does mean that you won't have all of the auto functionality. So for instance, if we come out of auto into manual and we set our bandwidth to 40 megahertz, come back to the main screen and arm, you will see that we now have our full 50 megabits a second. That means you are able to use the system at its full functionality, but you are in manual mode. And what that does mean is that you're not going to get the benefits of auto. However, there is something else you can actually do to get pretty much full functionality. And it is a quirk of this actual problem. The issue here isn't that it's not giving you the full bit rate. The issue is it's not moving up and down the different bandwidth levels the way it should be when you're using the ham file. And what it's actually doing is getting stuck on 10 or 20 megahertz carrier mode. If we take a look in my goggles, we are in auto at the moment and I'm going to arm so you can see and we're getting 15 megabits a second. If we go into the DJI menu and down into transmission, we are in auto mode at the moment. If we move into manual mode, you will notice that the bandwidth is on 10 megahertz. That is why we are only getting 15, 16 megabits a second. If we now set this to 40 megahertz, go back to auto, you will now notice that the minimum bit rate is jumped up to three. And if I now arm, it will now go to 30 megabits a second, a higher number. Now, I haven't figured out a way to get it to go to the full 50 megabits a second, but you can somewhat force it to go to this higher level compared to what it is as standard. What you will notice going back into the screen is that it has actually limited itself back down to 20 megahertz again. If we go back in, set it to 40, come back out, set it to auto, go back into manual, you can see that it jumps back to 20. So 20 is the maximum that you can actually force it into. And when arming, that will allow you to get up to that 30, 31 megabits a second. As you've seen, it is a bit of a weird problem. The reality is right now, if you want proper functionality on 04 with the goggles 2 and Integra, the only thing you can really do is reset the goggles, remove the ham file and use it in the CE power level. But obviously that isn't going to be for everyone. If you really do need the maximum power, the best way is to actually use manual channel mode with the ham file. But again, do take caution. You're going to be forcing it into 40 megahertz carrier mode and it's not dynamic. It's going to be stuck in that carrier. So if you are flying somewhere with signal loss is a potential, it could actually cause a random loss of signal or at least a loss of the aircraft unexpectedly. Final third option is that settings change. As you can see by manually sticking it into 40 or 20 megahertz carrier and then back to auto, it'll give you a bit more bit rate. But the auto function in CE mode with the ham file on the goggles 2 and Integra is completely broke. It doesn't work properly and I'm not sure I would fully trust that. I think the safest thing to recommend is either reset and get rid or use manual channel mode. Now, as for what happens next, well, 
I don't think DJI will ever fix this. As I've said already, it only affects the goggles 2 and the goggles Integra. The reality is it's a bit of a big ask to expect DJI to fix this problem because the ham file isn't officially supported. It's basically a hack and it's causing a problem on an older set of goggles. Whilst we would like DJI to fix it, I don't think we can expect them to or criticize them for it either. I have highlighted this issue on DJI Forum. It basically got no response from DJI themselves other than can you send us your logs or we're sorry about that. We endeavor to fix every problem. The truth is they know about it. Whether they will fix it remains to be seen. I think you're going to end up with this forever. And as a result of that, the Goggles 3 is the best solution with DJI 04. You found this video interesting? If you have, if you want to support the channel, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons I'm able to keep making content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us to make content in the future, please do check it out. I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. We would not be able to keep doing this without your support. So that's it for me on this one. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.